Yellowstone's most famous geyser has stopped doing something it's been doing for over 100 years. Old Faithful is no longer being so faithful. Let me tell you about what's happening and why scientists are really worried about it. This is the park where everything changed. This is Yellowstone National Park. More than 400 years ago, this whole area was nothing but a volcano. But when the volcano erupted and created the Yellowstone Caldera, also known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano, things started to change. Hot water and steam rose up through the vents in the ground, creating geysers and hot springs. The water cooled and hardened into rock, creating the stunning beauty we see today. And this area became known as the Upper Geyser Basin. There are many different types of geothermal features in Yellowstone. There are fumaroles which are just holes that release steam. There are hot springs which have water that's heated by the magma below the surface. There are mud pots which are bubbling pools of mud heated by the same magma. And then there are geysers, which are basically hot water that's been superheated by the magma below the surface and built up enough pressure to blow. Now the upper geyser basin has about 50% of the world's geysers, and the most famous of them all is Old Faithful. Old Faithful is a cone geyser, a special kind of geyser that has a perfectly round opening at the top, a bit like an upside-down ice cream cone. This allows us to predict with great accuracy how high the water will shoot after each eruption. That predictability is what makes Old Faithful the star of the show. For over 150 years, visitors to the park have lined up to watch its regular eruptions, and Old Faithful hasn't let them down. Until now. Old Faithful has been erupting roughly every 90 minutes. It shoots water 105 meters into the air, and it does this consistently. That is until late 2018 when it started acting strange. Its eruption time changed, its height changed, and its consistency changed. In fact, Old Faithful had its longest eruption ever in November 2021, when it shot water into the air for almost two hours straight. Now this behavior is very unusual because Old Faithful has been quite literally the most predictable geyser in the world since the 1870s. It erupts every 90 minutes, give or take. That is, until recently. In 2018, its eruption time changed to every one hour and 15 minutes. Then, in 2021, it changed again to every two hours. Now, these changes don't sound like a big deal, but they are for scientists who study geysers. In fact, scientists were utterly baffled by these changes. They simply could not explain why Old Faithful had suddenly become so unpredictable. A new paper published by Nature Scientific Reports has finally given us some answers but it's not good news. The reason Old Faithful is behaving so erratically is because of a giant underground earthquake that happened right under our noses. Yes, you heard that correctly. A massive earthquake happened that we didn't even feel. We just didn't notice it because it wasn't the kind of earthquake that shook the earth. On November 13th, 2021, Old Faithful gave its longest eruption in recorded history. It lasted for one hour and 43 minutes. It had been two years since its last major eruption, and scientists were perplexed as to why. Now, it turns out that the reason for the mega-eruption was because of a shallow earthquake that happened two kilometers underneath the surface. The earthquake measured 7.2 on the moment magnitude scale. To put that in perspective, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan, which caused a tsunami and damaged the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, that was a 9.0. So, while it may not have shaken us, it was still a big deal. In fact, this earthquake was the largest in the region for the past 30 years, and it's important to remember that this is near the edge of the massive Yellowstone caldera, the giant volcano that sits beneath the national park. Earthquakes happen a lot at Yellowstone. In fact, there are about 1,000 earthquakes that happen here every year, most of them are fairly small and go unnoticed, but this one was big enough to affect the park above it. Scientists detected the earthquake thanks to the United States Geological Survey's Yellowstone Seismic Network, a series of recording instruments that monitor earthquakes in the park. Once the instruments had located the epicenter of the quake, scientists knew exactly where to look. Using a variety of tools, they looked at the gases coming out of the vents on the ground. They checked the temperature of the water in the streams nearby. 
They studied all of the geysers and hot springs in the area to try and figure out what had happened, and then they made a remarkable discovery. One particular spring, called Daisy Geyser, was not behaving like the other springs. It had cooled down. Now, this isn't just interesting trivia. Springs like Daisy Geyser behave in a very predictable way. When there's a disturbance underground, the water in the spring reacts in a very predictable way. The water level goes up, and then after a few days, it goes back to normal. But Daisy Geyser didn't do that. It stayed cold. The researchers knew that something unusual had happened, but they had no idea what. They couldn't have possibly imagined that it was a giant underground earthquake. In fact, it took them a whole year to discover the truth. But eventually, the data gathered by the Yellowstone Seismic Network helped them connect the dots. They realized that the mega-eruption of Old Faithful and the sudden unseasonable chill in Daisy Geyser were connected. And what connected them was an earthquake. To be clear, this is the first time in history we've ever linked an earthquake to a change in geyser activity. What happens next is anyone's guess. Scientists are currently monitoring both Old Faithful and Daisy Geyser closely. If Old Faithful stops following its new pattern, then erupts every two hours, well, scientists will know what to blame. But if Old Faithful continues to behave erratically, then they'll have to come up with a new hypothesis. We can say one thing with certainty, though. Scientists will keep working hard to understand the changes to Old Faithful. That's because there's more at stake here than just a beloved tourist attraction. Studying how geothermal features interact with seismic activity helps us better understand how volcanoes work. It also helps us better understand the forces that shape our planet. Yellowstone National Park is a treasure trove of geothermal wonders. Here are a few of the park's most spectacular sites. Grand Prismatic Spring, the third largest hot spring in Yellowstone, named for its rainbow colors. Mammoth Hot Springs, named for the travertine terraces that look like a frozen waterfall. And of course, Old Faithful, the geyser that inspired a name. An estimated five million people visit Old Faithful every single year. But there are other places around the world with amazing geothermal features too. Did you know, for example, that Iceland has over 300 hot springs? That's more than three hot springs for every person in the country. In fact, Iceland has such a high concentration of hot springs that they're powered by geothermal energy. 90% of homes in Iceland have access to subsidized geothermal heating. But what about where you live? Does your area have any unique natural features? Tell me about them in the comments below. And hey, if you liked this episode, why not check out our other videos? You never know what cool, quirky facts you might find. And speaking of cool, quirky facts, did you know that NASA once sent a trampoline to space? I bet you didn't. Well, they did, and you can learn all about it right here.